Welcome to BASE. During this guide, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to get set up and what BASE is for. So BASE is the first platform ever for assistance, allowing you to communicate key context, to ingest important information, and to share and handle those outputs in a quick and efficient manner, saving you time and aligning you better with your executive's goals. So to get started, First, we create our first workspace that generally represents the executive we support. Next, select your time zone. And in my case, I'm in EST and the executive's time zone. So if you support an executive in a different time zone, you can select theirs. The reason that we do this is this allows uh, our system to set the communication preferences in the way in the time zones that they're going to be received. Next, you can add a calendar to your workspace. While this is an option, optional integration, it does increase the impact of the product. So if you'd like to add a, add a calendar, you can choose Gmail, uh, a personal outlook, or Office 365 or Exchange. Go through the process of adding your calendar to add those events into your base. Once you've gone through the authentication, you'll see all the connected calendars listed here. With Google, that includes any delegated access calendars directly under listed directly under your email that you authenticated. For Office 365 or Exchange accounts, if you have a delegated calendar, you'll have to go back to the plus button and add the delegated email to get those calendars listed. So in this case, I'm going to use I'm going to select these two calendars cuz these are the calendars that are representative and valuable for this executive. You can select any calendars and you can always go back and add more in the settings once you get through onboarding. So after you click finish, the first time that you get into the product, besides any new things that we're going to share with you, like Digest 2.0, you're going to see quickly your dashboard. And your dashboard, if you've connected your calendar, will automatically show all the events for the calendars that you have listed. You can see the calendar color matches the calendar uh, color that comes in from Google. In the case of Exchange and Office 365, those will be listed as gray. You can see key information, including the details of that meeting, in a quick view, so if you're just quickly trying to understand what's happening. We've got this Getting Started Guide that helps you go through each of the steps to, to get your base workspace set up effectively. We recommend having you install the Chrome extension so that way each new tab you add will take you directly to your dashboard allowing you to see key updates. You'll notice that up here in the corner we have the time zones that have been selected. And once you have activity in your base, as again this is the very first time I've logged in, I have no activity yet you'll see engagement that your executive has. So up email digests that have been sent and viewed, decision stream questions that have been asked and viewed. Down here we have some key helpful insights like FAQs, our help site, and resources from our blog. Over on the left, you'll see the different products listed, inbox, tasks, digest builder, dossier, decision stream, and analyze. I'll go through each of these products in depth in a different video. Up here, if you have, on the free account, you have one workspace, which again represents your executive. If you'd like to add more in the event that you're supporting multiple executives, you'll need to upgrade to the pro plan. Here, you'll see notifications for tasks that have been completed by others, comments that have left been left in Digest 2.0, and other key information. Finally, under your name, you've got your settings, the account settings in the event that you have multiple users, and the workspace settings.
So let's quickly jump into the workspace settings. Again, we named this for the executive, but you could use any name you want here. We never automatically email your executive. By adding your executive's email here, when you complete a digest, it will automatically fill that so that you don't have to type that in over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. Again, in other plans, you can add additional users to help them work within your workspace. Under calendars, you can add more connected accounts or select additional calendars you want listed. Under the digest settings, we have even more information listed here. You can see we now have your executive's email, the default event time display. If you want a different reply email address for your notifications, and then in the pro plan, you have all kinds of defaults that you can set to make building digest even faster and easier. Under decision stream, you can say a default question type. I'm going to go yes, no response. And then finally, under communication, we have other things, including the executive's phone number. So if you're sending via SMS, it's automatically there. So let's add one here. You've now set up your workspace and you're ready to explore the different applications within BASE. In subsequent videos, I'll walk through each individual product to give more insight.